Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Command Sergeant Major John W. Truxell. All right, good evening, everybody. I'm Command Sergeant Major John Wayne Troxell, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Thank you all for being here tonight. To all of our military members, especially our wounded warriors and veterans that are out there, to our law enforcement professionals, firefighters, first responders, family members, especially our Gold Star family members out there, and friends. Thank you all for being here tonight. And on behalf of the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dunford, Jr., and the Secretary of Defense, General Retired James N. Mattis, it's my privilege to welcome you all to the Salute to the Armed Services Ball, honoring the inauguration of our 45th President of the United States of America, and to whom the men and women of our armed services also call our Commander-in-Chief, <laughs> President Donald J. Trump. Now, as the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman, it's my distinct honor to introduce my esteemed colleagues over here our service senior enlisted advisors. These, these gentlemen are my teammates and battle buddies, and I work with them every day to ensure we continue to develop and care for the military men and women. First of all, the 15th Sergeant Major of the Army, Daniel A. Daly. The 18th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Ronald L. Green. The 14th Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Stephen S. Giordano. The 17th Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, James A. Cody. The 12th Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, Stephen W. Cantrell. And the 4th Senior Enlisted Advisor for the National Guard Bureau, Command Chief Master Sergeant Mitchell O. Brush. Also joining us tonight are some of our brave service members serving on the front line of freedom, coming to us direct via satellite from Iraq. Are you out there, warriors? Good morning from Baghdad. Sorry, Major, how are you? Hey, are we taking the fight to the enemy over there? So let me ask you all a question. As the world watches today, as America demonstrates democracy through the peaceful transition of power, what does it mean for you to be part of this historic day for our nation? Sorry, Major, I'm sorry, First Class Rob Frazier, 1st Infantry Division. And on behalf of the members here of the Combined Joint Task Force Operation Inherent Resolve, we are extremely proud to be a part of this historic moment. We are honored to serve and to work with our Iraqi partners and our coalition partners to continue to make Iraq safe for the people here. All right. All right. Thank you all so much for what you're doing over there and the sacrifice, sacrifices you're making. We'll hear from you all downrange a little later on in the program. Thanks again, and we'll see you after a while. Let's give them a hand again. Uh, 
Again, ladies and gentlemen, the service senior enlisted advisors and myself are delighted to be here and join you all in this great celebration. Please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you all. God bless you all, all the professionals and families that are here tonight in our great nation. Now let's stay fired up as we get ready for the arrival of our new president. Hooah!